Hello, ESU8 friends. This is Molly Ashoff, and I want to visit with you a little bit about some of the conversations that we've been having at the ESU about the support we can give you when you transition from the spring right now, 2020, and learning as it's happening to fall 2020. And through our conversations and through conversations with teachers and parents and watching what's happening, we believe it's really important to have um, a consistent remote learning online delivering tool. And so knowing that, we have looked at the tools out there and we would recommend these three tools in some form or fashion. Now, it's important to have consistency. We're hearing from parents that um, they're having to learn several different tools, helping multiple children. And so sometimes even within high school students, teachers are using different delivery tools. So I'm gonna show you the three tools that we believe are probably the most useful um, and the grades that they're best for. The first is Seesaw. Seesaw is more for your lower elementary, your pre-K to second, third grade. You can use it farther up. We've seen it used clear up to seventh and eighth grade, but definitely for the younger kiddos. Then there is um, Google Classroom, and Google Classroom is free with your Google domain. And it could be used, we say about third through 12th grade. You do have to have um, an email to use Google Classroom. And the other is Canvas. Canvas, you can use a free version or a paid version. And um, you get more options with the paid version, obviously. So I'm going to talk a little bit about each of these to give you an idea, um, just an overview. First of all, Seesaw. Seesaw is free. You can get a paid version, Seesaw for School, which allows you to track students' progress a little bit in different activities. So there's just some more functions. But most um, teachers that I know are using the free version of Seesaw, and it's working really well for them. What Seesaw is, is um, it is a student portfolio, originally designed as that. Um, you can capture the learning of the students, you can give um, reflection and feedback, and it's a great communications tool also because parents can see that work too and offer feedback um, as well to their children. It's very student driven. It's a great way to share learning. So in this time of remote learning, teachers can share things out to students, and then the students can share back to the teacher what they've done. Um, they can take a picture, they can talk over it. It's easy to record their voice or a video, um, and it's really easy for the teacher then to give immediate feedback. Students um, don't have to have an email. A teacher creates the account and then the student can either um, join by using a QR code or there's some form of a code that the student puts in. So you don't have to have an email. That's why it looks works so great for the younger students. It can be used on any device. Um, there's an app for an iPad or an iOS phone. You can use it on a computer, on a Chromebook, on an Android device. So it's very device agnostic, so that's also very, very good. It's an easy way to message parents and students. And so not only is it a way to watch your students work and track their progress and um, a gathering place for that, but it's also a great communication tool to parents and students. Um, during the regular school year, they can parents can see what's happening um, and what their kid's doing in the classroom, and especially now during this time of remote learning. 
Here's just an example of a student has uploaded their work. You can see that they've recorded over it, so they then talked about what they did, and this student is here sharing it with everyone. The next um, option is Google Classroom. Now Google Classroom is completely free with your school Google domain and students and teachers log in using their Google email. So some schools do not give emails to students lower than say third grade. And so it is pretty easy to use um, even for younger students and once again it's a great way to um, distribute work and collect work um, within um, a time of remote learning or in a regular regular classroom. So students log in with their um, Google email. There's a dashboard. This happens to be a teacher's dashboard view, but the students see their um, classes in a dashboard view very similar to this. Um, teachers can post assignments, announcements, you can do quizzes on it. There's different kinds of questions. So you can do discussion questions. You can upload um, documents and materials and video. Um, so it does have a lot of um, ways to organize and keep a class um, uh, well organized and well designed. Canvas, the third option, there is a free Canvas app um, with limited uh, design features in it. Canvas does cost. Um, we do have a NNNC purchase and we provide schools with up to a hundred um, Canvas accounts, but you're under the ESU Canvas domain. So because of that, you cannot sync with your SIS system. Your grading that happens in Canvas cannot be transferred to your gradebook or anything like that. Um, you don't have that, that interlinking and syncing of your other um, programs. And so that's kind of a downfall um, of doing it that way. To get the best use of Canvas and its integration capabilities, would be to have your own domain. So Canvas does require a separate login. However, that login can be a Google um, email. Once again, teachers have a dashboard um, that looks something like this. And students have this very similar look with the dashboard um, that they can get to their classes. Um, there's a little bit more features in organizing and designing the class, a little bit more robust opportunities to do announcements, discussions, um, how you organize your students in groups and, and do group works. You can also upload syllabuses and files, and you have the opportunity to um, grade assignments right in Canvas. Once again, those grades won't flow into your gradebook or your SIS system unless you have purchased your own domain for your own school and then you integrate those two um, softwares. Once again, this is just an overview of a delivery, online delivery tools. And the nice thing about it is they work great in remote learning, but they also use great in daily um, face-to-face -face learning if you're doing a blended learning model um, or any type of a model of teaching where you want to give um, students work and then receive work back from them. If you have any questions, please reach out to me, Molly Ashoff, at um, ESU8, and I'm happy to answer any of those questions or help you find pricing on those.